Hi, hello, I'm Victoria. Um, I was trying to put an AC unit in all by myself and I cut myself just twice, it's fine. <laughs> So, by the title, you probably already know, I'm leaving America. But before I leave America, I'm gonna cover up all my tattoos because I'm working with this brand, Hi, and it's a concealer for tattoos. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm, just, I'm doing this for TikTok, but I wanted to show you guys while I do it because it's been a while since I've done this. The uh, last time I did this was back when I lived in Los Angeles and before I had this hair and stuff. So I'm gonna cover up my tattoos with this concealer and see if it works. And then I thought I'd just show you. And then I'm going to tell you why I'm leaving America, where I'm going, and all the things um, if you're interested. So stay tuned. I'm going to make this TikTok, but I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes and I'll show you the after. All right. Uh, love you. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't, I'm not pretending to be awkward. It's just, it, it's like half pretending, but half like it's really serious. Like, I just kind of play it off as pretending, but this is actually how I am. So this is where we're at right now. <laughs> I feel, I like this because it looks like I have a really little neck. <laughs> uh, I'm just a dainty lady. Do you like it? I think I'll keep it like this. It'll be my style, little neck. Oh, my little neck Tori. I just spilled a bunch on the floor. We're getting there. <laughs> this makes me feel weird about myself. Pat, pat, pat is there. What did you think? <laughs> this is weird. It's strange. I kind of like it. Just like for a change. Um, I feel very naked and weird. Like it's weird. Because I feel like if I didn't have any tattoos, I would not dress like this. Like I just wouldn't. I really do feel like tattoos are my clothing. Because when, when I'm like this, I'm like, wow, kind of like immodest now. It's very strange. Maybe that's why, you know, I don't know. This is me. Whoa, I could actually like, whoa. I mean, it's not completely covered because it's really hard to cover black, but for the most part, it's, I can see my like real, natural, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, look at those muscles. Ooh, someone's been working out. <laughs> All right, let's get into where out of the country I'm going on a one-way ticket. I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm probably gonna clean all this off, but I wanted to show you that. And not shown. Okay, let's talk. There we are. All right, I got my suitcase here. Um, not leaving for another uh, little less than two weeks. But I wanted to talk to you guys about where I'm going, why, what, and kind of how I'm packing for it because it's a bit different than any other place that I've ever been to. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to Egypt. <laughs> and I've wanted to go to Egypt. I don't know, you guys might not know this, but I've wanted to go to Egypt for so long. I grew up watching like The Prince of Egypt. I grew up in a very Christian household, so that whole area has always really, really interested me. Plus, it's so loud outside. Now that I put the air conditioner in, I can't close the window. I'm a bit nervous just because of the difference in culture there. Um, the first place I'm going, I think will be fine because it's a bit tor more touristy, but the like Cairo and stuff, I'm gonna have to cover up a lot. I've been to different countries and I know how it works. And I'm not looking forward to the men there, just to be honest, but um, you know, I ordered a scarf. I um, reached out to a brand that um, 
makes cotton kind of lightweight clothing that I've worked with before and they're gonna send me some stuff so I'm gonna like make sure that I'm all covered up in the places that I need to be so don't worry about that I'm meeting up with a friend there it's another female um, I did want a male to come with us or whatever but didn't have one doesn't matter still going I'm going on the day of my birthday it was kind of the best cheapest day for me to go but also like why not travel on my birthday it seems kind of fitting I don't really like birthdays anyways so to be alone on my birthday is normal and fine I want to show you some of the things that I got I still have some more stuff coming like I got like a scarf and what else did I get I don't know I got some other stuff that I needed for Egypt so I'm going to be there probably the month of June I'm not sure exactly how long, but probably like three weeks or so, maybe more, maybe less, maybe more. I don't know yet. I don't know where I'm going afterwards. It depends on my financial situation. It's just, it's just a one-way ticket, so maybe afterwards, I, maybe I'll go to England. Like I, my tentative plan, if I have enough money, is to go to England and then from there, um, Europe is opening up for tourists and also Americans and stuff, so maybe I'll you know visit France and Italy and stuff like that that I've never been to. So I'll figure that all out as I go along. Um, it's always a work. It's always unknown, but you just gotta roll with it. So first off, I got this. This is gonna be a trip where I will take the least amount of stuff that I've ever taken because I have learned. Hold on. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> this is like, this is not ideal. Anyways, I have learned that there is no way I can take my big suitcase. I just can't do it again. I've done it so many times and it's been horrible every single time. So I got this suitcase and then I have one to put on my back and I'm gonna have to somehow stuff my life into it. I don't know how because I do kind of have a lot of stuff that I like to take places because I have my little weird routines and it's, yeah. So let me show you what I'm doing for my little weird routines while I travel to keep me grounded. So you guys know I love protein and it's really hard to travel with protein because you can't take the whole big bucket with you. So this is the best option. I have 12 packets of these. They're vegan, 30 grams of protein, which if I take half a day, I can have 15 grams of a protein shake every day. So this will fit in. I can just stuff it in every place I can in my suitcases. And so I have protein for probably the whole while that I'm there. And then I also like to take my vitamins and stuff, but you can't take bottles of vitamins with you. So I got these little pill cases. I can put vitamins in here, and if not vitamins, probably other little things. So I'll just put a bunch in there. It's just the only of the essentials that I feel like I need. Um, I can't be taking too many vitamins with me. We have to be realistic. I actually got, someone got this from my wish list, and my wish list is linked below if you care. The, the main thing that I want, still need to get, is a GoPro because I want to um, capture underwater diving, but also I feel like I don't want to draw attention to myself vlogging like I normally do. So I kind of need, I don't know, I need to figure out a way to not draw too, too much attention to myself, but also film everything for you guys. But I got this for my wish list. Thank you very much. Um, these are packing cubes, so it can be more organized whenever I just put these in there. And then I just have a bunch of different cubes, different sizes, which is organization. I've never had that and I'm very happy that I'm getting more organized because I do plan to travel a lot this summer. Also, sunblock. Very, 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 very important. I got SPF 50 and it's natural and it's ethical and I'm gonna have to put this on every single day on my tattoos. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be like 100 degrees there. I'm going to die, but at least I will be blocked from the sun. I also, oh. <laughs> I needed some sunglasses too because I have sensitive eyes and I'm like, hey, why not get something that's a bit more Mad Max because I love Mad Max and that's going to be the new aesthetic. Mad Max, Indiana Jones, Laura Croft. What? Yes, yeah, a little steampunk, but we're not calling it that. So I hope that no guys will bother me if I'm wearing these because, it, you know, it's not, it's, it's just, they're, they're cool. I like them, but they're not like sexy or anything like that. They're just efficient they really do block out the light and i like the things on the sides so no sand in the eyes i got this little sun bump 30 spf for my lips gotta protect the lips as well and then um i got this microphone so i can still do voiceovers because there's no way i can carry my big microphone so this is a cheap one and hopefully it works well um 
yeah, I, I still wanna do high quality voiceovers for my videos. And then the suitcase that I got, I decided to get this one so I could carry it like, oh, hold on here, a duffel, a duffel bag if I need to, but also it has wheels. So and then this bag that I'm taking, and that's not a lot of stuff, like space for me, but it's gonna have to do for however long I decide to leave. Because like I said, I might go to other countries afterwards. So I'm not gonna be able to take a lot of clothes. But that's the stuff that I got so far. It's compact, it fits, and it's making me feel better and more prepared to go to Egypt. I forgot one very crucial thing. I'm adding this in the video because I need to go back because I forgot the most important thing that I got. I uh, do, you know, the spinning thing and I didn't want to get stop doing that. So I got a portable, wait, this is going to scare me a bit, but staff. <laughs> so I'll still be able to do my spinning, you know, if I have the time to. Yeah, I'm so much happier having a like a place to look forward to going to like get out of America again. I'm so so grateful. Uh, I hope this goes okay, and I hope I can continue to travel afterwards as well. So stay tuned for Egypt vlogs. Um, my next video might be a little delayed, but it'll probably be me going to Egypt by myself because I'm not actually going with my friend. I'm going to meet her up somewhere, but so I'm going to travel there by, by myself. So I'll show you kind of the process of, you know, COVID stuff and traveling as a solo female to Egypt. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, inspire you or something to have your own little adventures. But that's where I'm going. That's me with my tattoos covered up and that's me cutting myself trying to put an AC in. I think I covered all bases there. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications on so we can stay close together throughout this process and this journey. Okay, I'll see you in Egypt. Oh.